Well, we have been creating sheet metal parts in their bent and final form, but what if we have a piece of sheet metal that's already flat and we want to bend that? How might we make that in a Libre? Also, if we have very strange or eccentric kinds of bends that we want to make that'd be challenging to make otherwise, I have a solution for you. So here in the sheet metal environment, let's start a sketch. I'll choose my top plane here and we'll go with arc and another arc and how about yet another arc All right so i make this sort of wavy arc pattern we have a, a, a tangent here and a tangent here let's grab an equal and make sure that all of our arcs are indeed equal i'll choose a vertical and make sure that some of our points are vertical as they should be and then horizontal, again, relative to our center points. So it looks like our only degree of freedom is the size of the arc. I'll take this out to five. I can offset each one of these. And simply close my sketch. And that will make a sort of a sheet metal bendy strip. All right, well, let's say I've got this exact shape laying around in my metal shop and I want to bend it starting from the blank. Well, one way to do that is I can do a sketched bend. I can place a line exactly where I would like to bend my flat sheet metal. I can select sketch bend Let's say I want to bend it at 90 degrees. I can select my bend line, and there we are. Now I have several options. I can reverse the tab, and that allows me to keep the other side flat. I can also reverse the flange if I wish to change my bend direction. I'll say OK to that. I can also have a bend go in a really strange way, right? Perhaps I want a very unusual bend and it would be challenging to bend sheet metal in this way without a sketch bend. But if I draw my line right and I choose sketch bend and select my bend line, right? I'll reverse my tab again. You can see that we can make very eccentric bends using sketch bend. Some other options that I have that are worth mentioning is I can change my dimensional alignment, of course. Just like when we create flanges, we can have this sort of freedom to know where our uh, flange is being measured from. I can, of course, change my bend angle. Maybe I wish to do a 100 degree bend. I also have the ability, besides reversing my flange and tab, to change my gap width if I'd prefer. I have some advanced options, again, any reliefs that are added, I can edit here as well as K factor. And that is sketched bend. It isn't always used when we have a flat and wish to convert it to a bent shape. We can use it at any point in our sheet metal modeling, no matter what our approach is, but we'll find it particularly helpful to be able to relate strange curves that might be otherwise difficult to do. And when we wish to start out from a flat. And that is how we do the sketch bend. Tune in for even more in the next video. See you then.